Sarah Salati. I said it right away, right out of the gate. Yes. Most people don't, they say Sarah, right? Yes. Sarah. Yes. Then the reason why I bring this up is identity is really important. You know, and having an identity for people to connect with you on is really important. Yes. Do you have a difficult time identifying what your business is? Not at all. Can if, you give us the elevator pitch? If you want to prevent and reverse cardiovascular disease, we have the program for you. Okay. And that's it. Because it seems kind of nebulous, right? Because I'm leaning in now. Yes. I want to know more. Yes. What's the program? It's a treatment that has been FDA cleared since 1995 that helps grow new arteries, reverse hard arteries, and secrete stem cells without surgery, without medication, 100% safe. You realize, well, as you're saying it, if it was being written, you could see the words that you are deliberately bolding Right? Highlighting throughout the... So you've given this pitch enough times. Oh, yes. You could tell. Oh, yes. How long did it take you to learn and really get that pitch to the level it's at? Well, you know, I started this when I was 26 years old. So a year ago. Yeah, just like five months ago. Yeah, right. And so I've been working really hard. But as I went down this journey in my life, I realized that I had to say things more simpler, more clearer, more to the point. I only had 30 seconds mm -hmm. to say what I needed to say. And I was put in a lot of environments with really high professional athletes and really big time celebrity people that I only had 10 seconds That's to it. speak. And so I had to come up with like power words, something that I could resonate with them and I would kind of see who they were and what they may need in their life and try to see if I could bring that connection straight to them. So again, you did it so well, you could tell that's rehearsed. Anytime somebody does something that looks easy, it's taken a long time to get to yes. that easy point, right? Yes, and so, it comes from the heart for sure. Well, I know it comes from the heart yeah. because this is your passion. This yes. is what you care about more yes. than anything, right? Yes. Why do you do this? Where did this come from? Well, it started when I started using the therapy on these clients and I realized that they were getting better. They so would... you created it? Well, the machine was actually invented in Harvard in the 50s. This is before bypass, before angioplasty, before stenting, before we had blood thinners. This was a device that was created in Harvard because they knew if you're having a heart attack, we got to get the blood up to the heart. If we can get the blood up to the heart, we can save the heart muscle. Makes sense. So then it kind of went away in China. The Chinese picked it up from the 60s, 70s. It came back to the United States in the 90s. 1995 was the first FDA clearance. I started in 1996. I was the first clinic outside of Westbury, New York University doing this treatment. Wow. And so when I started putting people on the treatment, right away they started feeling better. And I, and I was background as a nursing. I was working in cardiology, CCU, ICU, and I was used to medicine, surgery, cutting you, stenting you. It's all mm -hmm. considered normal practice. It is. Until these people would come in and there were rich people who were flying from all over the world to come and do EECP because there was only one in the whole world, which was in Newport Beach, California, where I was. Which was yours. And I started this process and watching people get better and that just inspired me. And people would get to me and say, I wish I knew this, my father would be alive. I wish I would know this, I wouldn't have had my fourth stent. How come I don't know? And that is what really drove me to do this work and say, I gotta just go straight to the people, let them know, and if they know that I'm not responsible, my responsibility is letting Knowledge. them know and letting them know there's a choice. And if they happen not to do it, I feel okay with that. What I didn't feel okay about is these patients coming crying saying, why didn't I know Makes I sense. could have my father be alive? So sorry, but they have to come to your facility? Yes. Okay, that's the probably the only hurdle. Yes. Right? Driving. No matter what. Well, yeah, in LA especially, right? Yeah. Yes. So tell me about the program. What would the program be? So I am, let's say I'm the perfect candidate, okay? And I finally have some knowledge and I connect with you. How long will it take for someone like me to go through the program to actually see results? From the first session of EECP, you will have some form of benefit. And I'll explain to you how the treatment works. Please. You lay down on a comfortable bed and three blood pressure cuffs are wrapped around your calves, your thighs, and your buttocks. And we have you timed to an EKG. So to the rhythm of your heart, these blood pressure cuffs start to squeeze the blood, your blood, and circulate the blood through your whole entire arterial system. We have arteries from our eyes all the way down to our feet. Every organ of the body is attached to the artery. So when we're actually squeezing your lower legs and pumping the blood through the arteries, we're getting blood to your organs, your kidneys, your brain, your eyes, your heart. Non-invasive. Non-invasive, total circulation. When we're talking about heart disease, which we're saying, what is that? Well, it's, it's anything that has to do with inflammation, anything that has to do with poor circulation. 
EECP is an anti-inflammatory treatment mm -hmm. because it helps circulate blood everywhere. Are you doing statins along the way with this? Are you well, people come in with statins. People come in with cholesterol medications already taking, mm -hmm. hypertensive medication. People are on beta blockers. People are on multiple, multiple medications. And as they do the treatment, because the treatment grows new arteries, it actually grows new arteries. It's not that the machine does. Our body grows new arteries whenever we have a blockage. Mm -hmm. So how intelligent is our body that it recognizes there's blood not going down this artery. I have to secrete this hormone called vascular endothelium growth factor, which this machine secretes because it pumps this blood through the artery and it helps push out this hormone to create a natural bypass. So they call EECP a natural bypass, but not only is it for people that have blocked arteries, it's for people that have hard arteries, and that's what high blood pressure is. Sarah Salati is joining us. What does EEC stand for? E, e wait, E E. Peace, or EECP, that's it. Enhanced external counter pulsation. Got it, and totally uh, non-evasive. Totally. It sounds like it's not a, uh, a painful process at all. It feels so good. <laughs> it really? does, because it's like a lower extremity massage. You're getting a deep tissue massage in your lower legs, and it gets that blood moving, and you well, get rid of lactic. Well, why not do it as a, pre a preventative environment? That's exactly what we do it for. Yeah, preventative. Yes, it has to be. So how many of these machines per se do you have? We have two locations, one by LAX and one in West LA, and we have a total of 30 beds in both facilities 30 combined. 30 beds, yes. and how long is a procedure? It's one hour. One hour. Yeah, people come once a day, one, they come once a week or twice a week or three times a week or five times a week. The most important thing about our program that it's a lifestyle program because we're trying to reverse something. When someone has high blood pressure, we're really saying, how stiff are your arteries? Your blood pressure tells me your biological age. And if I want to reverse the aging process, then I have to reverse the artery from being stiff. And that's what EECP does. So it takes a while for that to happen. But we've got clients with us for 20 years. Our oldest patient is 102 years old. He's been with me in his 80s. Blood flow to the brain, cognition, memory, it's really amazing. It sounds like it should be a membership, like a health club type environment. Is that what you're doing? We do have that. We, we, we're we ready to do whatever the client you're, you're really. You're open to ideas. I am open to everything. I love it's all that. about the people. It's for the people. It belongs to the people. Sara Salati is joining us, and it's EECP. P. Did I do it right? Exactly correct. I, I actually, can, can you just turn it into like a cool word? I know. You, you Circulation understand? therapy. No. It's too big. No, it's not. It's, it's got to be, I don't know. Pump it up. I mean, it's kind of like, <laughs> look at the the dry bars. Have you gone to a dry bar? Yes. Right. It's, it just... But it, it's got now a name. It's it's basically someone washing your hair and blow drying your hair yeah. and fixing it. For, but it's a dry bar. Yeah. Right, cool. so they Very found cool. a way to kind of give it a, a cool cachet type name. Yes, you need that. I do. Well, that's the name of the therapy. But you that understand. doesn't belong to me. But yes. But you, so the you get some of the smartest marketers that are around you, and I know many of them. Yes. They know the triggers and the terms that you have to use. Keith, yeah. Why haven't they? Helped? He's, he's he's helping me actually. <laughs> Come on, it's, get those guys. He's, he's, they're making it happen now. But you understand what I mean, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Because E E C P, if. I want to go tell my friends about it. They're going to go, what? Yes. So how do you get your clients today? How do people find out about this amazing treatment? 80% of our patients come from word of mouth because the treatment is so amazing, so effective. The minute you get on the treatment, your blood pressure drops between 10 to 20 points. You lose one to two pounds because it pumps the lymphatic system. It detoxes the whole entire system. You get off the machine. Your legs are lighter. You sleep better. The next day you wake up, you have increased energy just from one hour. So my whole thing is not about once the client comes in, it's a done deal. It's can I get him to come in because the treatment is so powerful. It's so it speaks for itself, and people have such an amazing reaction from it. That's not the hard part. The hard part is what does she mean? You can come in there and do this. I don't believe it. Or, I, I, but I'm I'm very skeptical. But yes. I, you came to me from very good sources that I trust and rely. Yes. So I know you're authentic and genuine. Well, the reason why I started to do this business on my own and I had to do it is because at 26 years old. 
I was going, okay, the, I'm going to wait for the doctor to send me a patient, and I'm just waiting. Okay, that, I realized that's not going to happen. So then I started to work for the manufacturing company that makes the machines, Vaso Medical, and I said, okay, I'm going to go sell these machines to doctors so then they can do it. Every knock on the door, the doctor would look at me like, what are you talking about? Right. What do you mean we're not going to do a stent? What do you mean we may not need to do bypass? And at that moment, I realized right there, I said, wait a minute, they are not interested. I had to change my lingo. I had to say, for those people that you can't stand, for those people you can't bypass, and they're still sick, they're having chest pain, send them to me. Did that work? That worked. Okay, so you got the sick of the sick. Yes. Right? The ones and that they, they convicted. Yes. And they, in some cases, you've helped a lot of them. Oh, yes. Okay. So, and does any form of health care pay for this? Medicare does cover the treatment. It was wow. Medicare approved in 2000. PPOs approve it. Kaiser approves it. The VA okay, approves so it. Okay, so you have, because in a lot of cases, that's why, like massage therapy, people don't do it as much yes. as they would like to because yes. it's not approved. Yes. So you have to find different angles. So you're in a really good sweet spot right now. But the biggest problem that we have is that the Medicare insurance company, the AMA, came and said, we're going to only approve this for end stage of life. Oh, So okay. if you come in and you've had heart attack, but you can have 10 more stents, you can't get this treatment. Okay, but I'm 50, yes. and I'm closer to death than birth. Yes. So I'm kind of at that end stage right now. I should be able to be covered. <laughs> I'm thinking all of us are in end stage. And we should all I mean, be living covered. on the planet Earth is yeah, basically exactly. a, a life sentence, right? Exactly. That's it. That's it. So being an entrepreneur in this business, you have to be constantly marketing, evangelizing, because yes. yes. first you have to educate, yes, and then you have to market. Yes. Which one's harder, evangelizing, where you're educating, or marketing? Well, I actually do both together. And because I'm in a church every Sunday, that's how I did my business. I went church to church. What? I created a, a whole business of going into the churches where all the people were connected with the pastors, the reverends, everybody. That's got how the, you did it? That's how I did it. You literally went from church to church. It's a brilliant marketing I was move. just at church last night, a Bible study. Before Bible study started, they gave me an hour on the floor, and I got to do my whole entire presentation, signed up everybody. They come in and they do the free session and they experience it. And if they want to do it, they can do it. Do you take out any advertisements in the bulletins? Um, I used to do that. The advertisement is hard for me, even like on radio, because I only get like a 30 second spot or a 60 second spot to try to say something like enhanced external counterpulsation and the blood flow situation. So that didn't really work that well for me, radio. Television does because I get to use animation and images, show it, right. right? But the churches and the word of mouth, grassroots, old school, door to door marketing is how I did it. And then are you seeing not just repeat business, but are they bringing a friend? Oh, yeah. Every patient that comes, they literally, our clients leave and they take brochures, like packets of brochures, like I'm going to my spa and I'm sending this to people. I see my, pro, my posters on bus stops. I see my posters in like other people's businesses. So you do a lot of guerrilla marketing then? Yes. Okay, so of all the guerrilla marketing that you've done, what has worked for you? For sure, the church is because when I stand up, I'm sitting, like last night, the church is 4,000 members. Yeah, you're not four foot 10 either, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so when you stand up, you, you people see you. Yeah. <laughs> they're, and I have some shoes on, so oh, they're definitely you going to see Oh, you accentuated everything, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. You... So I got some shoes. But the, the church has been the best place for me. They've opened the door and they've allowed me to come. They see that it's a service-oriented business. They see that it's built on love and compassion. And they see that I'm trying to prevent and reverse and not put people on medicine. It was the best, best arena for me. So did you come up with the church angle from going to church or somebody suggested that? No, it was just... How do I get in front of a large population of people in the shortest church. amount of time to be able to express? I only speak for two two minutes at the church. I get it, I do but it. That, see, those are tight communities. Yes. Church, synagogues, mosque. Once you're in there, they talk to one another. Oh, yeah. It's localized word yes. of mouth, yes. and it's all uh, it's a dense community. Yes. So it's brilliant. Yes. But getting the angle into those church, mosques, and synagogues, that's a tough part. It was. So how are you brought into a church saying, yeah, you get, you're going to get the floor? I literally, well, first I got my funding from First AME Church, was a African-American church in Los Angeles. I, I met Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, I said, please come into my clinic. I have this machine. I have this machine. And just like I'm telling you, I have this machine. And he came on. He got on the machine. He's like, okay, I got, what do you want? I said, I want to come in to the community. Can you help me? He's like, I'm going to take you into First AME. Wow. I'm going to introduce you to Pastor Chip Murray, and you have 10 seconds. And um, you got it? And, and I he... got it. And they gave me 
seven hundred thousand dollars, which job. was great, and I started my business, and I paid them back, and here I am. Today. You got to love that. Yes. And how many years have you been doing this now? Twenty years. Twenty years. Yes. And only in Los Angeles. Only in Los Angeles. So everybody that's listening has to fly and comes. I have people from Canada. But can coming. you come out just once and really see a difference? You can see a difference with one treatment. With one treatment. But if you want that long-term sustained effect, you need to at least do one to two hours a week. So wouldn't health clubs be great partnerships yes. with you? That's our next thing. This whole sports thing, which I have to tell you that not only did I do this for end stage people, not only did we do it for prevention, but I took this machine, I met US Olympic sprint team, Otto Bolden, Maurice Green, Quincy Watts, and I took my machine under the UCLA bleachers and I, ha and I did my first sports study with EECP. It was amazing watching these athletes run faster, recovery time, so lactic acid. So results are right there. Okay. Yeah. We got to work on marketing. Yeah. And, and, and that is a brand, yes. a swoosh, yes. something that really identifies. Because do you have a logo that people go, oh, I know what that is? This is my logo. What's your it's, name? Well, that's, it's, it's the Sara uh, Salati Health for Life program. And it's on your, on your breast. I'm looking at that there, too. Don't do that. I'll look at your logo Well, you're all talking about my logo. I wanted to say, this is my logo, everybody. Put on your arm next time. Well, actually, it's actually here, too. Oh, but it's okay. too, it's, it's, like Keith says, it's long. I, everything is just long. I need boom, boom, boom. So is it a, the best marketing move, would it be athletes, celebrities, or, please don't take it wrong, sick people? Which one is the one that really will bring you more people? People that you get healthier from being sick, or is it that celebrity or athlete that well, goes? Well, I, I first went to the real, really sick people, and then I moved over to the athletes, and I thought, okay, the athletes are gonna overtake this because they're gonna see how amazing yes. it is, and they're gonna take the microphone, and they're gonna blow this thing up. Every athlete I put on the machine, from Layla Ali to Sugar Shane Mosley to Shaquille, I sold the machine to the Miami Heat. The minute they would get on it, they're like, I'm not gonna tell anybody. See, this is an interesting problem. So then problem. I was like, okay, that secret. didn't work. They yeah. don't want to tell it. Yeah. It's true amongst, yeah. by the way, I've noticed this about women entrepreneurs too, women, especially in this town. When they rise to a certain level, they don't want to allow other women to come up the ranks because they don't want to share their Rolodexes because mm. it's taken them years, years. to get there. You yeah. understand what yes. I'm talking about, yes. right? Yes, yes, Being a woman entrepreneur in LA, it's, it's tough. tough. It's tough. You, it's you tough. notice this too, I, right? I, I definitely have been there myself. and. Experiencing that with the athletes and getting so excited, they're gonna go tell Kobe. Okay, Shaquille did not tell Kobe. It's like, so nobody wanted to tell anybody. And so right away I said, okay, I gotta go back to the people that okay. really, really need it the most. And we do have a lot of celebrity clients that come to of us. Of course, but they don't wanna talk about they it. They don't wanna talk about no, it. No, because they wanna say, hey, I'm naturally young. I'm totally good, yeah, perfect. <laughs> that's it right there. So, and I think YouTubers, yes. influencers, that's a market you probably haven't touched. So right now you have health clubs, You've already dominated churches, which is great. Yes. Do you see yourself growing outside LA? Absolutely. I created the company called Global Cardio Care. That's the name of my company because I wanted to go global. This is beyond LA. This is beyond America. Can I this tell you where to is, go? Tell me. Yeah. Naples, Florida. Mm. Fort Myers, mm. Florida is yes. your next because yes. you have disposable income and people want to. Yes. It's an older community, yes. which is a thriving community yes. for you. Yes. Right? For sure. That's next. Definitely. It's always nice to go down to Naples. You ever been there? No, but I've heard great. Time to go, right? Yes, yes. All right. Good and then reason. He, as, as you are, have grown this business as a, a woman entrepreneur too, any advice from women that really want to just go after and just conquer things? First, you don't see yourself as a woman entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur, right? Yes. But is there any words of advice you could give women out there if they want to take on a business? All I can say is that there are going to be people that are going to say no to you a thousand times, but that doesn't matter. It's that one yes, and just keep going. And I, you. for me, no matter what, the passion was there, the drive was there. When they said no, I said, okay, that's not the right person. Next. Next. And you went through them. People want to find you, hunt you down. Where do they go? Globalcardiocare.com. That's it, right there. Yes. Thanks a lot for hanging out with Thank us. Thank you.